Today we're in Sculptera Winery in Paso Robles, California. I feel like I'm in Tuscany right now. So this is the only house that we can afford in California. <laughs> Should we get it? We are Janelle and Mike. We sold our house to travel full time. Why you ask? After dealing with huge health scares, we realized that life is too short to wait to do what you love. And we love to travel. So far, the journey hasn't been easy. People above us having a full on fight but we are learning as we go and having a great time doing it. Oh, and we're taking our amazing little dog, Kaya, with us too. Good morning, everyone, or I guess afternoon for us. Today we are going to a winery that is dog friendly. Mike and I don't really drink wine, so we probably won't drink wine when we're there, but there's a really cool sculpture garden here. It'll just be a nice way to get outside, and who knows, we may check out other areas in Paso Robles. We decided that we'd rather stay a little bit closer by and be warm. Um, yesterday we sat out at a brewery and we were freezing our butts off. Dr. Warren Frankel and his family moved to Paso Robles in 1979. They planted 20 acres of pistachios and 20 acres of grapes on their ranch. After some success, they expanded their vineyard in 1997, adding more grapes. They decided to break ground on their winery in 2006 and opened to the public in late 2007. Sculptera Winery includes ultra-premium wines, fine art, and a multi-million dollar sculpture garden. The sculpture garden was by far our favorite part. It featured several artists, including John Jagger. John Jagger was a sculptor for 45 years and his monuments graced numerous cities throughout the world. In 2007, Warren Frankel commissioned several pieces from Jagger. The 12 bronze and granite monuments took four years to complete and made Sculptura Winery a must-see attraction in California's Central Coast region. This dog-friendly and absolutely stunning winery attracts thousands of visitors every year. Have to come here if you're in Paso Robles or anywhere near here. I feel like I'm in Tuscany right now. Hello. Hello. Welcome to my vineyard. This is your vineyard now. Sure, why not? The Sculptera Vineyards is absolutely gorgeous. It is full of a bunch of people who are having a really good time. They're over there drinking it up, dancing, enjoying some PYT from some lady, not Michael Jackson, and everybody's just out enjoying the sunshine on this beautiful Sunday afternoon in Paso Robles, California. Winery has designated areas you can actually walk through to get the full vineyard experience. It truly feels like you're in Italy. A 
really neat feature of the winery is their 20 foot tall wall that features the history of Paso Robles. So Janelle, give us a history lesson now that you've read all of this stuff. We had mud baths at 102 degrees and 122 degrees, flowing at 6,000 gallons per hour. They used Model T Fords for fencing their arena. Jesse James came here to heal his wounds in the mud baths. So apparently Paso Robles was known for the mud baths. Paso Robles has over 200 wineries, most of which are family owned, and is considered to be one of California's top wine regions. We continued exploring the property and eventually made our way back to the car, even though we didn't want to leave. Next, we set out to Tin City. Tin City is home to over 40 businesses, including wineries, craft breweries, and artisanal distilleries. She does not want to go on this bridge. Nope. Well, we thought we had made progress on the bridge situation, but... Still not a fan. No. That's okay. It is a unique and vibrant community, and we really enjoyed walking around it. Barrel House Brewing is one of the many businesses within Tin City and was a place we went to a couple of times while in the area. It has a great atmosphere with outdoor beer gardens, live music, a beautiful water feature, and a food truck. They have blondes, IPAs, stouts, and barrel-aged sours. Looks like Janelle's made a new friend. Kaya's made a new friend. Kaya loves little kids, so. your mega beer. Hey, that beer actually makes your hands look normal size. This is a normal size beer to give you an idea of scale. We came back to Paso Robles to see the downtown area. We got lucky because Art in the Park was happening at the same time. So this is the only house that we can afford in California. <laughs> what do you think? Should we get it? What do you think? It's perfect. Wow, this could be our house. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> See, we got it upstairs. I don't know how you get there, but. After enjoying the many vendors, we headed over to the backyard on 13th. Once again, breweries are our go to since most of them are dog friendly. trying to uh, influence the numbers, trying to influence the election. 
Let's see if she can. Instagram. What up? She's very excited, folks. She made a thing happen. Made one thing happen in this world. You made some good, positive changes in the world. How do you feel about that? Amazing. On the next episode of It's Time to Run, we are in Morrow Bay. Is it? Janelle found this. I think she's going to try and buy it. Thanks for watching. Please take a moment to give us a like and subscribe because it really supports our channel. See you next time.